This video is on how to find the area and perimeter of shapes. Um, in particular, we're going to start with algebra tiles, and then um, that's kind of a helpful way. I'm just going to just use the diagram from the textbook for this one. Um, and we'll get to the distributive property in the next video. So if you're setting this up, you can see, and I'll kind of write a little bit darker, so we have, um, so these are the values of the different algebra tiles. Um, and we're going to do two things. We're going to find both the area and then we'll find the perimeter. So once again, the area is the shaded part. So I'm going to start with the squares because typically when we write the, the area, we'll start with the squared pieces first. That's just what we call standard form. So um, here's my x squared. So I have 1x squared. And I'm going to put a little dot so that I know I dealt with that. And then I have an x plus an x. So x plus x gives me 2x. And then the little ones are just one, one plus one, two. Okay, so that's the area, the amount inside. Now the perimeter um, is going to be the rim, okay, the rim or the outside. Um, so what you're going to first want to do is just kind of write down the different values. So this square here is x squared because the sides are x times x. And this here and this here are the same, so this is x. Um, this shape here is the area is x because it's 1 times x, x. And once again, we've gone over this in class, so for people that maybe this is new to, just kind of <laughs> go along with this on this one. Um, this is the same thing, so this is a 1 by x. 1 by x gives us the area of x. And then these little unit ones, each side is 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. And this top and the bottom are the same. Now, I think it's helpful to kind of go around and just like have a system about doing it, whether you start in one place and go around or, you know, I think that might be the easiest thing. So kind of starting at a point, like I just go like 1 plus x plus 1 plus x plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. So you could start to kind of combine stuff there and write it as 3, or you could write 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus x plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. So I'm going to add just a plus 3 again, plus x. So when you're finished, you should have gone all the way around the shape and not missed any side. So that's why I kind of like this technique for complicated shapes. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to combine like terms. So we're going to combine things that have the same, you know, variable, you know, and the same exponent. So we don't have any x squareds here in the perimeter because perimeter is a linear thing or a length thing, I should say. So I have an x, 1x, 2x's, 3x's, 4x's. So this simplifies to 4x. And then I'm going to look at my constants, those are numbers, terms that don't have variables in it, 1 plus 1, so that's 2, 5, 8. Okay, so that's the perimeter of that, and there aren't any units specified here, but if there were, so you could just be like units. Um, so now let's look at the next problem. So this is part B, also from the classwork. So once again, we're going to do area and perimeter. Okay, so I'm going to start with the perimeter. I mean, sorry, with the area. And so once again, the area is the part inside. So we have an x squared. I've dealt with that. Two x's. And then the two individual ones. You could also have written this out longer. So x squared plus x plus x plus 1 plus 1. And so what we've done is we've gone from this longer expression, and now here's our simplified expression, which is kind of what we're focusing on in this unit. And then with the perimeter, once again, you need to identify the lengths of the different things. So this is an x, because x times x gives us x squared. 1, because 1 times x. And then these are all little 1s. An x, a 1, 1, 1, 1, an x. And once again, start in a particular place. So I'm going to start in this 
bottom right hand corner and I'm going to go 1 plus x plus, and here I have 1, 2, 3, 4, so plus 4. I'm already starting to combine terms, although I could have written that out 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. x x x 1, 2, 3, plus 3. And your expression may look different if you started in a different place, but they should simplify to the exact same amount. And once again, then we're going to go in and we're going to start combining like terms. So I see here's a plus x, 2x, 3x, 4x. And then I'm going to combine my constants. Those are the terms without the variables. 1 plus 4 is 5 plus 8. Okay? So that's how you do some shapes like that. And we'll pick some more complex ones where they're not as straightforward.